All right, my name is Dallas Kramer. Uh, Tyler here is going to be my athlete demonstrating today, and we're going to go over a hang clean. Now, before we do a hang clean, we're going to get to a couple variations, and the first variation is an RDL. And before we do the RDL, he has to pick the bar up. So before he gets in position, he's going to have his feet hip width apart, even with the bar, even on the rack. Safety is a huge deal. We want to make sure we're sending it up on the rack, on the platform of on the rack. Next, he's going to come down. He's going to grip the bar, have a flat back, grip the bar about shoulder width apart. He's going to have his chin tucked slightly. There you go. He's going to pick the bar up. We want to make sure it's close to his body the whole time. All right. Now, when he gets to his RDL, he's going to come down and come up. Make sure his shoulder's back and his chin is tucked. So, if you would please demonstrate. One straight line, straight up, regular. There you go. Good, good. All right, now we're gonna get into a low pull. Now what he's gonna do for his low pull is come down like an RDL, chin tuck, but he's gonna come up violently with his arms straight and his toes coming straight up. He's gonna do this in a violent, fast manner. We're preparing him for the hang queen, and this is the first part of the second pull. So if he would, please demonstrate. Come down, stand, there you go. He's gonna keep the bar close to his body even at the top. There you go, a little bit faster. Good. Good. All right. Next part we're going to go into is the high pull. Now it's just as fast and as violent as the low pull, but you're bringing it all the momentum. You're using all the momentum of your hips to bring it to the lower portion of your chest. So if you would please demonstrate. Ooh. You all right? Good, 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 good. <laughs> Keep your balance. So we want to channel all that force up. It's a good teaching point. He comes forward because he put too much force forward and not enough force upward. It's about getting triple extension, getting vertical displacement. Good. Good. All right. So now we're going to go and do hang cleans from this hang position. We're going to finish it up and put it all together. So first, before we put it all, first, before that, he want to make sure that when he catches, he's going to do the high pull, but he's going to drop underneath and catch in a quarter squat. Make sure that he's not going to full depth. We're not Olympic lifters. I want to teach things from a power stance. So when he catches, he's going to be in that firm quarter squat power stance, hip width or shoulder width, whatever the athlete is comfortable with and getting in that position. And then he's going to break it down once he's done and cushion it a little bit on his thighs and he's going to reset and do a couple more reps. All right. Good. Whoa. Not bad, not bad. Straight up, yep, yep. All right. Good. So, when he does that, I don't want him to shoot forward because that means we'll put all our efforts into going forward and we're probably overstanding our back. So we want to come down, explode straight up, and drop underneath and catch in a firm position with our thighs, the cushion, especially at the bottom. And then we're going to come down and reset and do it all over again. Good. Perfect. That was a perfect rep. Good. Perfect. And there you have it. It's a hang clean and full. And I hope not. Uh.